According to this pamphlet, photography class should be around here somewhere. School's like a maze. Hope I'm not lost again. Uh -huh. Oh, there's something on the floor. Oh, looks like someone dropped her wallet. Oh, so his name is Sissel. Probably just another student around here. Oh, hold on to it for safekeeping, I guess. Oh, Sissel, can't wait for you. The photography classroom was heavy with the smell of fresh paint. Looked like they shared a room with the rest of the art students. This place is rustling with activity. Or bustling, you could say. Oh, Mrs. Corlise, is that you? You there? Do you happen to be John? I perked up. An ancient woman with graying hair and spectacled eyes smiled at me from behind the teacher's desk. Uh, yes, ma'am. I am Mrs. Corlise, your photography teacher for this month. Welcome. Before class starts, I have to make sure all students have possession of their own personal camera. Did you bring one as assigned by the class paperwork, Mr. John? Uh, uh, we were supposed to bring our own camera? You mean to say you didn't know? Did you bother reading the paperwork before coming here, Mr. John? Uh... Shit, great... Good, great first impression already. No matter, we have several spares for... less attentive students such as you. Did you hear something breaking? Oh, wait, no, it's just my self-esteem, no big deal. That's two breaking self-esteem <laughs> comments in such quick succession. Mrs. Corlise rummaged through several cabinets before pulling out an old faded camera. And a fate is sealed! Here we go! Mm, oh, this'll do. Take this, Mr. John. I expect you to take good care of it. And felt pretty old and clunky. Heck, this thing's probably even older than I am. Oh, here we go! The haunted camera shtick, the haunted camera shtick. Hey, isn't that the... Yeah, that's the one, all right. That thing's cursed! What's Miss Squirrelly's thing and give it a haunted thing to him? <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense! I will not have any of this haunted talk in the classroom! That story is just a baseless rumor floating about the school. Cur cursed? Well, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, don't worry about it, you'll be fine. Uh, yeah! Miss Quirley scowled and ignored the chatter as she directed everyone's attention toward the blackboard. Soon she began a lecture on the basics, basics <laughs> of photography, and the class settled down and started taking notes. People still shot me the occasional weird look, though. What was all this commotion over this old thing? Oh, hey, how you going? <laughs> oh, oh you. Oh you. Looks like you're wearing scrubs now. Wearing scrubs? You scrub? Get a good look at you. Your belt's all messed up. We're in scrubs. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. You freaky fucker. Hey, it's not that old. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. John! Keep your voice down! <laughs> Slowly! This kid just popped out of nowhere! Class suddenly begins whispering rampantly. See? He's got him! I have the run! Did you see him? Mr. John, let me explain something to you. I will not have any more of this superstition fracking bullshit in this classroom! Uh, what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, 
I'm sorry. Countless other students have tried pulling the same trick you have. There is no ghost child haunting that camera! Wouldn't you just replace it at that point? Like, seriously, just change it out. If I hear another word of this, expect disciplinary action for disturbing my class! Understand? What? It's probably just the best to agree with her, John. <laughs> yes, ma'am! Good! Now sit down and take your notes! I settled back down at my desk and glared at the kid. What the hell is going on? Sorry, I probably shouldn't have startled you. Especially with old Corlys around. What the hell are you and why can't anyone else see you? Are you really a ghost? Me? You can call me Echo. And no, I'm not a ghost. Nothing sad like that. I guess you can call me a wish. That makes no sense. And your face... Oh, you've noticed. You look just like me. Nah, I'm much more handsome, thank you very much. Not to mention humble. Why do you look like me? And why are you here? I can't answer those questions at the moment. Ah, the most frustrating trope of all. Can't explain it now, we'll explain it later. But later I'm dead, so sorry. <sighs> ah. Uh, it's just an unfortunate thing. Great. Wait, aren't you the one who locked the front doors this morning? Oh, you're a sharp one. Why did you have to do that? You made me miss the orientation and everything. Not to mention stranding me outside in the rain. Because the figure chuckled with a now nowling. Second typo. Look, if I didn't lock those doors, you, would you have met Philip or Owen? Well... And if I hadn't stolen Sissel's wallet, you wouldn't have met him either. Uh, we haven't met yet, actually. Echo blinked. Really? Well, what's taking you so long? Eh, <laughs> no matter, you'll bump it up sooner or later. All the threads will weave into the proper places. Why is he smiling like that? What the fuck? Looks like I'm out of time. See you around, John. Don't lose that camera. Oh, still the- oh, he's gone. He's... gone. He may be a ghost, but I really wanted a KK's ass. I sighed and glanced down at the camera in my hands. A few moments of silence passed before I reluctantly hung the camera around my neck. Oh boy! Ghosts and cameras, what, what could ever go wrong? Fatal frame? Uh... Do 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 Photography class ended not a moment too soon. Everyone rushed to get out of that dreaded place. The other students kept a distance from me, probably still wary of that whole cursed situation. The first day of this academy is off to a great start. I yawned and fumbled through my schedule. Ah. Oh, looks like it's lunchtime already. I can almost smell that sweet, sweet freedom. Ow! The fuck? Oh my god, beefcake! Whoa. Jesus. Watch it, dipshit. Uh, uh, sorry. You better be, grumble, grumble. Wow, rude and handsome. The kid ignored me and strutted down the hall in contempt. Looked like the kind of guy with angry as his def default state of mind. He seemed a bit familiar, though. Where had I seen him before? <gasps> oh! It was the kid on the wallet! Ah, the wallet! His name was uh, Sissel, I think? I reached for the wallet in my pocket, but hesitated. 
She's not even bothering giving it to him. He was acting like a jackass. Give him the wallet! I sighed and pulled out the wallet from my pocket. Jackass or not, it's still his wallet. Hey! Is this yours? Huh? Oh! My wallet! He just dropped, drooped with embarrassment as he returned to grab it from me. Uh, thanks, kid. <laughs> uh, I'm a high schooler. Maybe in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> He rushes back down the hall like he's in a big hurry. Not much of a talker, is he? Oh, wait, he's coming back. Um, uh, sorry for calling you a dipshit earlier. So, more dipshit, less, um, what did he- oh, twat. Less twat. Mm, good variety in the insults, I appreciate it. Like, I appreciate a lot of things about the redesign. <laughs> Good lord. It's been a bad day. It's fine. Don't worry about it. If you say so. Well, um... See you around then. He's made his way back down the hall again. His ears are still drooping. <laughs> Quite cute. Could no but laugh at a little at his antics. Someone who looked so tough, he sure blushes a lot. Well, John, you really saved him a lot of trouble. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Voice! Get out of my head! Ah, it's nice in here. Very empty and cozy. <laughs> you little shit. Did you know? Sissel's the poorest student here at Grainy Academy. Returning his wallet probably meant a lot to him. So why did you steal his wallet from him in the first place? All things will weave into place, little man, you'll see. We're the exact same height! Oh, hey! John, nice to see you again! I jumped as Philip suddenly appeared behind me. Wanna go to lunch together? I, yeah, I'm, I'm... I They did mention the... The... Instead of the... Bruh! Fucking sound, it's like a... Like a pot breaking. The pot doesn't sound right, but it is less startling than the BOMP fucking sound effect. So I, I like that you change the sound effect, but I don't think that it's the pro- the- the- that the new sound effect is right, still. Anyway. Wanna go to lunch together? I kinda wanna stick with people I know. I gave Philip a friendly smile. <laughs> Sounds good, I could do with a relaxing lunch. Let's head off to the cafeteria. Actually, I was thinking of going to this local cafe. You know, the one with the convenient plot device? Let's have that. <laughs> A friend of mine recommended it to me. I heard it's really nice and cozy. Also, that one kind of gave me an errand to run there. I have no idea where I'm going, so you'll have to lead the way. That's a great idea. Let's get lost together. <laughs> He's so charming. Ah, here we are. Herschel's Cafe. And the friend gave him the uh, recommendation to Herschel's Cafe, yeah? Oh, man. The tiny cafe was bustling with quiet activity. The warm smell of coffee and breakfast filled the air. It's really nice and cozy in here. Well, we're here. And we only got lost twice. Thank God for usual maps. I told you no good would come from city folk and their flying machines. Sorry, I meant we should have stopped and asked for directions. That's the same as giving up. You stubborn motherfucker. Don't you have any sense of pride, John? Right now, I only care about getting decent food. <laughs> I guess we're both pretty hungry. What are you planning on getting? Uh, hey, look at you! Café du Cour. Cour. I, is the, I don't even remember that being the name. I know it probably, yeah, no, it definitely was, but it just, I don't even, I, don't, I just remember the Herschel's Café. Heart coffee? 
art coffee? Oh, is that just to tie it all back to like Ginny having a heart condition? Or is that like the coffee coffee of the heart or whatever? I don't know. Interesting though. Hello, welcome to Cafe de Cure. What can I get for Oh no, oh, blushy boy. It's you again. Uh thanks for returning my wallet earlier. Really, it meant a lot. It's nice to see people being good for once. Wow, John, being a good egg on your first day. <laughs> Just doing my best. <laughs> Why are you so shocked? <laughs> 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 it's you. Wait a minute. Do they know each other? Wait. Uh. What? Well, what is. Huh? Oh! Oh yeah, because they have the fucking with the fucking with the both with the fucking lake and the fucking with the wishes and the fucking Oh yeah, I got yeah, I remember. Okay. Oh, you're that kid that's always by the lake. And you're that kid that always hangs out near that wishing well. I glanced between the two of them a bit bewildered. Do these two know each other? Philip chuckled before extending an inviting hand towards Sissel. Nice to finally meet you properly. My name's Philip, by the way. <sighs> Likewise. The name's Sissel. Oh, speaking of which, Philip handed Sissel an ID card. You missed orientation earlier, didn't you? Owen asked me to give you your ID card. There was also a note attached to it. Sissel took a moment to read it before looking back at us. You guys came all the way out here to deliver this? Thanks. By the way, uh, what are your names? Uh, me? Uh, I'm John. And Philip just introduced himself, so I don't know why he'd be asking for both of our names unless he's just being socially awkward. Well, John and Philip, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, uh, Philip, you're Owen's roommate, right? Uh, yeah. Let me know if he ever gives you any trouble. I'll kick his ass for you. <laughs> I might take you up on that offer. I guess you and Owen know each other too? We've been friends for a long while. He's a good guy at heart, but he's also really... Colorful, you know? Sometimes I want to punch him in that pretty little face. Uh, anyway, it's still a cafe. W what do you want to order? <laughs> Philip and I ordered our food and sat in the back of the cafe. I like this. They, they all, it feels like you're actually entering a connected world now. Because before it really felt like Sissel was kind of like, kind of off in the in a corner, you know? Nice, I like this. My stomach growled happily as I took a bite of my sandwich. <laughs> Must have been really hungry, huh? Today took a lot out of me. I deserve to satiate my stomach. Yeah, things have been pretty rough so far. Sissel doesn't look too happy either. Maybe he's having a rough day himself? Speaking of... How do you know, Sizzle? Have you two met before? He, they, they went through it before. They've seen each other at the lake. Sort of. I hung about the forest around Bradley Lake fairly often when I was younger, and Sizzle was always there too. We talked every now and then, but I never knew his name until now. Yeesh, I can understand why. That's one grumpy kid. Oh, echo again, do, 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 do. True, but he's not a bad person, really. Damn it, give me some warning when you're gonna pop up like that! You'll get used to it. 
By the way, thought you'd like to know, Sis will give you a discount on your coffee. What? Really? Check the receipt, and sure enough, the coffee was a dollar off. Huh. Guess I... I guess was... Hmm. Huh. Guess... I guess wasn't as grumpy as he acted. Sometimes. That would be another typo. That's three now. The guy's got a lot on his shoulders. By the way, do you want to make his day better? I smell ghostly scheming! Echo chuckled. It's nothing bad. Just go buy Sissel something to eat. Poor kid hasn't eaten since yesterday morning and probably can't afford anything right now. His boss usually flocks him like a mother hen, but the day's been a bit hectic with the flood of new students. His lunch break is coming up soon, if I remember correctly. You're either a really nice guy or the nosiest ghost in the world. <laughs> I get it all from you, little man. What? John? <laughs> You're dozing off for a while. Who are you talking to? No, no one. Just the day, day daydreaming. Alright, you say so. Philip didn't look too convinced. Dots, dots. Here we go. After finishing our meals, Philip and I begin heading back to the academy. We got to the door, stopped myself, a feeling nagging at the back of my mind. Well, John, it's time to be a good person. Do do do. Hey, uh, Philip, you. Go ahead and head back without me. There's something I gotta do. Hmm? Huh? Well, sure thing. See you back at school, then. If I don't get lost, that is. That's a legitimate good concern. Could you be like, hey, can you uh, wait out there for a second? I'll gotta use the bathroom or whatever. And with that, Philip left the building, leaving me alone. With Sizzle. I took a long, deep breath before approaching him. Hey, Sizzle. What do you want? Well, uh, it, uh, it's, uh, almost your lunch break, right? How's about I, uh, get you a sandwich or something? My treat. B what? What? Uh, uh, actually, that would, uh, that would be great. Uh, thanks. No. Oh, since we're sitting down and eating with him, then yeah, that would be best to send Philip away. I guess I just forgot that. I feel like I probably said this the last time I played too. I apologize again. Wow, Sizzle's wolfing down that sandwich like he's never eaten before in his life. <laughs> I remember this. I said glurp slump. I remember say I remember making that mistake. Is it munch munch glurp slump? <laughs> uh, oh, the memories. Leave the memories alone. Ah, uh, that really hit the spot. Thanks a bunch, John. <laughs> You're welcome. Actually, I'm glad I got you lunch. You look like you really needed it. Did I really look that hungry? I guess I should be grateful you noticed. You gotta learn to take care of yourself. It's not! Ooh, that's a misjudgment of the circumstances! Nobody should starve themselves like that. You're speaking from privilege! I'd love to. It's not that easy. I, um... I was... homeless... And living on the streets for a while. Things have been easier since my boss took me under his wing. But it's been a difficult adjustment. Oh. Wh wow, I... I never realized. But it sounds like things are getting better, right? I have a job and a place at the academy now. True. And there's assholes like that teacher. The Dolores, was it? Been warning everyone that I'm a crooked thug. 
It's hard enough without judgmental people making things more difficult. <sighs> By the way, John, I want to thank you again. I, uh, I know I haven't been the nicest person to you so far. You're still nice enough to help me out, so, um, thanks. Look at him so bashful. Oh, uh, <laughs> been my pleasure. Aww. Two of us stayed at the cafe for a while, exchanging small talk. It was surprisingly enjoyable. In fact, we didn't even notice that it was time to go before Sissel's boss showed up to shoo us away. Oh, Herschel. It's the evening time. It's the evening time. Time for sun to go for the morning rise. After returning from the cafe, I found myself standing on campus yet again. It was the afternoon, and thankfully there were no more classes today. No homework either, just a huge chunk of free time. I wonder what I should do. I don't remember what either of these options do. Well, let's explore them both. Let's put a save there, and uh, let's just do uh, one. Let's go to the gym first. Well, I suppose I should do something healthy for once and head to the gym. Honestly, I didn't feel like exercising, but at, at least I can pretend I'm making an effort. Did the gym, to the gym, to the gym. The gym was surprisingly crowded at this hour. Besides a handful of people who were still working out, most were leaving as I came in. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, hey. There's Owen in the corner. And he's shirtless. The evening light shimmered across his chest as he strained against the arm press. He really put his muscles on display. He's got a nice body, too. Gulp! For a moment, we made eye contact. Owen broke into a smile and waved at me enthusiastically. Oh, hey there, John. How was your first day so far? It's been okay. A bit... Spoopy. Though. Spoopy? Ah, I see you get your hands on the so-called cursed camera. I wouldn't pay too much attention to all those rumors if I were you. That camera's only been here for a few days. It's not as old or as haunted as it looks. Really? Looks so beat up. Nobody knows. Kind of just showed up one day in Mrs. Corlisa's office. I figured a former student forgot about it or something. Well, that's not suspicious at all. It's just a clunky camera. How bad can it be? By the way, are you gonna work out or just stand there looking pretty? M me? No one's accused me of looking pretty before. No one laughed and gave me a flirty wink. I'm surprised. You're pretty easy on the eyes. Uh, I, um, brain rebooting. Please wait. Shake my head vigorously before hopping on a nearby treadmill, doing my best to ignore Owen's laughter. As I begin to lightly jog, I shoot a Mirai glare. Oh, shut up! You were distracting me with all that camera talk. Owen gave me an amused shrug before returning to his arm presses. He watched me with interest as I kept jogging. Couldn't help but feel a bit self-conscious. What are you staring at? Oh, nothing. Just wondering if you go to the gym much. You have horrible running posture. Ow! Thanks for stabbing my self-esteem. Third self-esteem comment in a row. I shrug. I shrugged. Guess you're not wrong, I don't do this much. Just try landing on the middle of your feet and straighten your back a little. Relax your shoulders a bit, too. Uh, like this? Yeah, just like that. You put too much strain on your calves the way you were before. Hmm. Well, thanks, man. Do you come to the gym a lot? You seem to know a lot about this. Me? 
guess you could say that. Gym's always been a place I'd go to relax and take my mind off things. I shot him a disbelieving face as I continued to rasp for air on the treadmill. <laughs> Relaxing, he calls it. Hey, you're just out of shape. With practice, this place can be pretty chill. Plenty of eye candy, too. <laughs> you say so. Huff Ugh. I've been running for a while now. But like hell itself was burning through my legs. Huff Huff. Huh? Looks like I forgot to bring water with me. Damn! Looks like I'll just die from dehydration here. The world can be so cruel. Suddenly something ice cold and wet pressing against my back and my neck. Jeez, chill out, John. Just giving you a bottle of water. You gotta stay hydrated and all that. You gotta scare me like that! <laughs> Where's the fun in that? Grab the water from him with contempt before gulping the whole thing down. <sighs> Felt better. Let a long, content sigh before slumping to the ground in exhaustion. A pair of strong, warm arms crept behind me and helped me up before I could get anywhere comfortable. I glanced up and suddenly noticed how close Owen and I both were. My head was resting on his bare chest, still glistening with sweat. Hey, it's bad to sit right after exercising. Wanna go on a little walk with me instead? I groaned and slumped against him. Ugh, why are you people so healthy? The two of us leisurely strolled around the campus. The setting sun shimmered brilliantly in the sky above. It was quite a beautiful scene, really. The sharp hues of orange and red really complimented Owen's fur. Say, Owen, how long have you been at the Academy? You really seem to have a lived-in feel around this place. He said seven years. Hmm. Well, I've been living here at the Academy year-round for about five years, I think. Year-round? Don't you ever get homesick? Home? His face held a wry smile. My home's kind of empty. Rainy Academy's my new home away from home. Granted, I haven't made many friends here thanks to my snotty rich kid image. And I do get homesick sometimes. For the people, at least. Well, don't you get to visit your family sometimes? Oof, that one felt quiet. There was a regretful and bitter look on his face. I was silent for a few moments, thinking of a way to respond before something caught my eye. Oh, wow, look! Hmm? The bubbles, the bubbles. Trails upon trails of bubbles floated down from the sky, decorating the crisp afternoon air with reflected hues of the setting sun. The setting sun. I apparently. The scene was beautiful and breathtaking to behold. Ah, looks like someone's blowing bubbles off our dorm roof. I, I need to get a picture of this. This is too good of a chance to pass up. Fumbled for my camera and snapped the image, smiling fondly at the resulting photo. Sunset's orange hues painted the photo with a dazzling display of color. Bubbles sparkled in a light of gentle floating stars. Hey, Owen? What is it? Your home is really beautiful. Yeah, it is. All right, so that's if we go to the gym. Let's see what happens with stroll around campus. Well, might as well use this time to familiarize myself with the campus. 
place is going to be my home for the next month. I should probably explore around a little. Do, 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 It turned out Grainy Academy was huge, almost like a college campus. The place is pretty calming and serene, and despite being in the middle of a big city, there's plenty of greenery everywhere. The school courtyard was a popular chill-out place for students, it seemed. Some were relaxing on the grass, while others grouped up around park benches. I could see why people like this courtyard. I haven't felt so stress-free since I arrived here. Suddenly, something wet plopped onto my nose, and I blinked in surprise. Oh! So we do the bubbles with or without Owen. There were bubbles floating from the sky. I glance up and see a small figure at the roof of my dorm building, blowing gentle trails of bubbles that dance across the campus. Bubbles seemed to glow, decorating the air with the light of the brilliant sunset. Curiosity welled up inside me, and I decided to make my way up to the roof. Oh, so we don't take the picture if we're with Owen. Instead, we follow the bubbles. Wow, the view is beautiful from up here. I made my way to the edge of the roof and see none other than Philip. He was sitting on a bench, with giant piles of textbooks and papers scattered around him. It's very windy on roofs, it tends to be. If it's slightly windy on the ground, it's really windy on a roof. The floor is littered with papers filled to the brim with homework assignments. And there he is, looking very tired. Philip notices me approaching and gives me a small, tired smile. Oh, hello, John. How was your date with Cecil? What? It, it wasn't a date. We were just hanging out. <laughs> I'm just joking. Glad to see you guys getting along, though. I think. Philip chuckled to himself and continued blowing bubbles over the edge of the roof, descending gently down to onlookers in the courtyard. So, uh, what you doing up here, Philip? He doesn't answer. The two of us watch in silence as Philip's bubbles float several stories down to the other students and visitors, much to their delight. Giggles and laughs echo up to us as some more playful students chase and batter the bubbles. I look to Philip and see his exhausted and worn face break out into a small smile. I have trouble sleeping sometimes. Too many thoughts in my head. Sometimes I'd be trying to work on stuff, but these thoughts and memories, me me memories, memories, he says, just crawl into my skull. I'd spend the rest of the day with the gnawing at me, with them gnawing at me, I imagine, until I'm exhausted. I just lurched slightly. His words hit a little too close for comfort. That sounds... Uh, are you doing okay? Philip shrugged tiredly. I'm fine. It's just something I deal with. Hey, there he is. This, uh, uh, Shirokoi mentioned that the CGs have not been updated. So, uh... This is the old art style, but the uh, the sprites are new. But there are new CGs, like the uh, the ones when we were meeting uh, Owen. <laughs> Those were funny. He gestured towards the vast view of the cityscape under the sunset. The sky and horizon was bathed in beautiful shades of red and orange. I like coming up to high places and watching the world go by. Up here, all the petty thoughts feel so small, you know. Is the bubble blowing a stress relief tactic too? Kinda. <laughs> Just plain fun. He laughs and waves a hand toward the courtyard below. Isn't it great Just how people's faces just light up when they see bubbles fall from the sky? It's a simple thing, but uh, I think the nicest feeling in the world is when I can make someone else smile. I grinned and gave Philip a gentle pat on the shoulder. Well, you certainly managed to make me smile. 
Donald let out a wry laugh. You do the same for me, John. Kinda. <laughs> it's been a decent first day here, hasn't it? I hope the rest of our summer stays just as bright and happy. It won't. I nodded in agreement. Another long silence followed as the two of us took in the beautiful sight of the setting sun. On a whim, I picked up the camera from around my neck and snapped a picture of the scene. I stared at the resulting photo fondly. If we were to have a bright and happy summer, then I hope my camera recorded every moment of it. Aww. I like that one. I think I'll stick with that one. I fell into my bed with an exhausted slump. Oh, I'll still make a save, just in case. It had been a long day. Who would have thought so much could happen? Rainy Academy had a few weird quirks, but things have been pretty nice so far. Ghosts or not, I'm gonna make the most of my time here. Glanced around my dark room tiredly. Being around people, for once, felt strangely uplifting. Maybe things will start getting better after all. With a long sigh, I closed my eyes and let the tides of sleep carry me away. Ah, the title card. Uh, the cards, the cards. Ah, oh, Lord. Jeesh. Unknown entity, huh? All right. That has been our return to the repeat prologue, day one. I don't know how many episodes this got cut into, but thank you so much for joining me on this, the beginning of our return to Echo to celebrate not only the remastering of repeat but also the 10,000 subscriber milestone celebration oh my goodness i i like i said at the beginning of all this i cannot i cannot i cannot express my gratitude enough i i could try but i'd be here all day i would not scratch the surface and I want to thank everyone, and I, I'm just going to keep trying my best to make it feel like you guys are getting what you asked for, so thank you very much. You know, when I started this, I was, I, I, I was a different channel name. I was Decker Link. I was a different legal name. I was in a different state. I was starting something completely new. You know, six years ago, I had no idea what where this would take me. Twenty years ago, I was just someone who was trying to do something that I thought was fun that my brother had done with his friends. And slowly was emulating things that I thought fun people on various websites was entertaining and found that I really enjoyed to do. And after 20 years, we're, we're here now, and uh, I don't intend to end anytime soon. I hope to one day have the privilege that so few people get to know when I'll be done. But uh, today isn't that day. Today is the celebration of a milestone and a long journey. And thank you for being here with me on that journey. 
So on the next episode of this repeat, we'll on this repeat revisit, we'll be here to to see day two of the prologue. See all the new sprites, the new rewrites, all the stuff that did nor didn't change. But until then, one and all, thank you very much for watching. I have been the trained unprofessional Vivian Jade. And until then, have a nice day. Bye, everyone! <laughs> <laughs>